Let me call this meeting to order. This is the May meeting for the Dallas Mass County Zoning Board of Appeals. For those of you that may have never been to one of our meetings, let me explain how we operate so you can keep up with us. I will call each case by case number and case name. Staff will come to the lectern, give us the request. There will probably be discussions and or questions among board members and staff. Once we are satisfied we understand what is being requested, I will ask if there are any persons here in support that would like to give us any additional information. If the applicant or someone else is here in support and would like to come to the lecture and give us your, some additional information you feel like we ought to take under advisement, please give us your name and address for the record and give us the information that you think we need. If there are multiple people here in support, if you have additional information to give to us then please come to the lectern give us your name and address for the record give us the information but please don't come up one after another and give us the same thing again and again we have several cases we need to hear today once we're satisfied we understand the request then i will ask if there are any persons here in opposition or if there are any persons here that have questions about what's being requested if there is someone here, please come to the lecture, give us your name and address for the record, and give us the information you wish for us to take under advisement. There could be discussions, questions back and forth. 
once we have heard both sides, then we will attempt to render a decision here today. However, it is within our bylaws that if the board feels that parties need to talk or information is lacking or whatever, that we have it within our bylaws that we can postpone acting for a month until the next regular scheduled meeting. Again, please give us the information you want us to take under advisement. Please give it to us as concisely as you can uh, so that we can take it under advisement. Please don't ask about rebuttals and re-rebuttals. Try to give us the information up front the first time. I'm not saying we won't have rebuttals and re-rebuttals, but we try to limit it because there are several cases we have to hear. Okay, the first case we're going here is Lowndes County case VAR 2013-13 Roger Blood Jr. for 1000 Lakes Boulevard Lake Park. This is a case that was tabled, postponed from the last meeting because of information that needed to be addressed that wasn't addressed. Okay, good afternoon members of the board. Um, this is first case we have today again is a carryover from last month. It's a request by the Roger Bud Company to the county sign regulations as it relates to off-site signs. Um, this request is twofold. The, the applicant is requesting a variance to the overall height of the off-site sign as well as the design of the sign. The county prohibits billboards or new billboards to be double stacked as you see on the slide there and there is a limit to the overall height of a billboard of 35 feet. So those are the two variances um, that's being requested today. Um, staff looked at this, found no hardship in the request and made a recommendation of denial. Any questions, any comments from the board at this time? And just for your information, I did meet with the applicant at the last month's meeting um, to go over some options. I believe they did today. Um, I don't know whether they took that under consideration, but we did. We did have a meeting to discuss other options. All right. Go ahead, Carmel. Can I assume that there are no other billboards in our county that are like this? Um, no. <laughs> There are double stack billboards all over the county. Um, on state routes, um, with the adoption of the UOBC, we prohibit um, prohibited double stack billboards, any new ones. The ones that are in place are considered non-conforming. They can remain, can be repaired, but they cannot replace it with another double stack. And what was a little awkward about this particular site is looking both directions there are no double stack billboards in this general vicinity. So we felt that it would be out of character, out of scale. Um, if they were closer to the interstate, then you know we would consider that, but there's just none in this area. There are no billboards of this scale in that area either, right? Right, right. I did suggest to the applicant that on this site, they can um, perhaps consider relocating their billboard from the road side to the rear of the property and perhaps ask for a variance to go higher than the 35 feet and let it function as a like a high rise sign. Mm -hmm. And it's close enough to the interstate that it would fall within the interstate car. No. Right, so that would require a variance as well. Mm -hmm. And we've already advertised for that. But I don't know whether that's something they they you know want to entertain. Guess, 
the show me sign about 70, 50 to 70 feet overall height. Kind of functioning like a high rise sign. I say if you denied this uh, situation here, if you could come back and ask for a variance for another side in the rear? If this request was denied, they could come back if the request is different. Um, but they could ask for the same request. But same. since we've advertised for a height variance, then that can be, you know, a decision can be made with regards to the height and any condition you all feel necessary. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Have we entertained a change in the height at all? Not since our last conversation, but they are here. Anything else from the board at this time? Okay, thank you, Mr. Miller. Is there anyone here with Roger Bud would like to give us any additional information? Please come to the lectern, give us your name and address for the record. I'm Janet Hancock. I work for Roger Bud Company. I live at 4884 Georgia Highway 122 East of Atlanta. Um, All right. What would you like to us to take under consideration? Okay. I think that the sign that they're wanting us to put here is going to look, it's not going to look good. It's going to look short and I've got pictures for everyone, but um, this is the sign that we're wanting to put. But I've had somebody put a billboard on this location, just place the billboard that we're wanting. Right there decided and we want to make it look nice when it's 
spend a lot of money on it. We're not going to put a digital billboard there. Um, if you want a digital billboard, I think you have to take down like four of your billboards. Like, so. We're just wanting to put something that I showed on there. And then you can see on the last page of some billboards that look nice and clean um, looking with the stack. Similar to what we're wanting to put it on. All of our customers like stack. Um, no one, I don't know if anyone's called about it, but no one's opposed for this to go higher and um, to you know to um, a stack built for So, um, but as you can see with the pictures, a billboard is normally around you know, 42 feet high instead of 35. Is there anyone else here in support of this application? Is there anyone here in opposition or anybody that has questions about what's being requested? Is there any contact to your office? No, sir. Any other questions? Any other discussions from the board? Anybody willing to give me a motion on this request? I make a motion that variance be denied. I have motion on the floor from Ms. Gaskins to deny the request. Both, both part. I mean, both pieces of the request. Yes. Is there a second to that motion? Second. I have a second from Mr. McCall. All in favor of this motion, please raise your hand. Unanimous. I'm sorry, see if you can figure out another way to do it. Thank you. Okay, the next case we'll call is Lowndes County case VAR 2013-05, Lowndes County Board of Commissioners on behalf of William Peters for 6023 Barrett Road, Ray City. Boy, that's a long mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. The second request is a request being submitted on behalf of property owner, Mr. Peters, by Lowndes County. This is an attempt to replace a non-conforming use with a, another non-conforming use. Such property is located on Barrett's Road and it's owned within the MAZ zone district as well as the county ATV accident potential zone. Um, this request has some history. Um, the, the property owners were issued a permit to replace a house with the manufactured home inadvertently. This was a house that was there previously. Um, of course, the property owner it was in need of, of repair, substantial repair and it was better for him to demolish the structure and replace it with a uh, manufactured home. Um, because the property is in the APV, residential structures are not allowed. Um, but with this situation, we're replacing one with another. Staff didn't see a, you know, a, a detriment or adverse effect that it would have on the adjacent property. And as such, we recommend approval. Um, it's just something that shouldn't happen as a matter of right, but it was a mistake. So we're petitioning on behalf of the property owner. How long has it been there? The house was there, was constructed in the 50s, early 50s. Um, Mr. Jefferson had no objections. 
I was going to say the movie didn't have any comments that it made any comments. Do you think that um, I had a great conversation with the Davenport about this general situation, but do you think that it'll ever will amend the ULDC to a point that if we're just exchanging you know, size for size, occupancy rate for occupancy rate, that these won't have to come before us? It seems like we're getting more and more of these, and as time goes on, it's going to continue to get worse. So yeah. Not that we're a lazy board by any means, but I mean, do you think that the ULDC will be amended to, to the point that you know, if the occupancy of that particular unit is not going to increase, that it will just be approved administratively? Yes. We were blessed to have the county's planner here today that can speak on that behalf, and yes, sir, we staff has been directed to come up with some some amendments because of this recurring situation and is that important to keep going? Yeah, I mean, just briefly, I know that uh, staff and the board have been put in some challenging situations in the past when someone's just looking to improve the home that they're living in. We've been directed by our leadership to look at some of those issues to see if we can't come up with an easier way to remedy someone who's just trying to improve their existing situation. Not necessarily reward someone who wants to come in and develop 50 homes in this area, but for some allowances to be made on behalf of the property owners and those who live there. So that's something we're working on. It's not quite ready to be published uh, at this time, but certainly we are actively working on it. Any other questions? Any other discussion?